what's happening? It's time to react to Norman Bates and his hot milf of a mama. Bates Motel. Now, if you don't know how I do this, what I do is I DVR it, and then I watch it, okay? I don't put it on screen. You get in trouble for that, for putting whole episodes. So, I suggest that if you have it dvr you play it with me, or if you got it on Netflix or something like that, project.freetv, whatever website you want to go to, watch it with me. Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Uh oh, this one. Previously on Bates Motel. You're new. What's your name? Norman Bates. Bradley Martin. They went all the way back, didn't they? I have it on a list for a lung transplant. How much does it take? 20,000. I make this run every month. I was trying to give you guys an opportunity to make $25,000. This guy pulled out of the message. Say that for me. <laughs> They're both really good actors, by the way. And the hands of mine. They both flip out real good, I know that. Bradley. By the way, my DVR cut off the last like minute of what happened last week. So this is like new to me. Because my life has been a living hell since I last saw you. It does look bad as hell. <laughs> She was coming back. Hold on, man. Sites. <sighs> I'm uploading some things. Make sure everything gets uploaded properly. Yeah, keep my laptop near me. And then it's running slow tonight. See me? Yep. Mr. Paris. Some research. Interesting case. It was an accident. Norman has a bit of a history, though, doesn't he? His girlfriend's father, Officer Shelby. That wasn't him. My mistake. That was Alex Romero. Convenient. Mm -hmm. It's 
you about this villain. I will give you the flash drive. I will do whatever you want. But you have to give me the assurance that you won't bring Norman into this. Look, bitch, I'm cold hearted. I don't give a fuck. You don't get to call the shots anymore, Norman. Bringing me the flash drive would be in your best interest, though. But I think Romero may beat you to it. You had him wound well, pretty tight around your finger, didn't you? I think I opened his eyes. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Uh-oh. You think I'm the bad guy, but... I think you may be much worse than me. He could really get her if he wants to, but he doesn't seem like he's going to. Norman choked the shit out of that psychiatrist, didn't he? I'm like, how do you let that young boy choke the fuck out of you like that? What's wrong with you? You got a beard. Don't no man with a beard let a young kid choke him out like that? Problem is... What? There are no guns and money. For all I know, you never made it to Canada. You sold my weapons to somebody here in the States and came back here with that sad sack story. We're done talking. You are going to give me the 25 grand you owe me for doing the job, and you're going to be grateful that I'm a different man than I used to be. Okay, that I'm willing to just take the money and leave it up for a bullet in your damn skull. Um. You've got the gift of wit. I'll give you that. It's hard to find these days. Okay, so we'll have a drink and talk it out. Everything will be fine. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. Oof. I was like, yeah, you better get up. They're gonna kill him. Weird, a lot of weird incest shit going on in, in this show. I just thought of that. Him being Dylan's dad. Norman wanting his mom. And you know, the girl with the breathing apparatus would probably be kind of hot without the breathing apparatus. And a new wardrobe. <laughs> Her and Dylan want each other now. Norman's gonna go crazy if he finds them kissing or something. This isn't like a pool, this looks like a bomb crater. Sounds as slippery. Honestly, it was, um. I think he's gonna hit that. Not good. I'm sorry, that sucks. Oh, anyways, I, I probably need to go take a shower. I've been, I've been stuck in the truck for like 72 hours. 
Oh, that's funny. Maybe she can't smell that great with the tubes in her nose. She won't give him something if he uh, tell her about that. How you women are when we help you. <laughs> I just feel so comfortable and vulnerable around you. See Romero, Norma. Norma do anything to fucking keep, to keep Norman safe. Why haven't you answered any of my calls? Uh oh. Ha <laughs> ha! I just said I don't want to talk to you. Well, Whatever. You want to act like a third grade girl right now? <laughs> you know what? She called him out. I just need the stupid flash drive back. I'd be like, you're gonna be acting like a fucking hood bitch coming up to my motherfucking job. He's mad. He he don't. Wow. He ain't he ain't down with you no more. God damn, Norma. You should let him hit it before, man. Cause then he wouldn't be acting like this as much. You understand? <laughs> uh, let's get through these commercials. Come on now. Come on now. I love when I get it almost perfect or just right. Seriously, you don't tell your mother you're alive? How exactly are you going to do that? I don't know. Can't just show up on your doorstep. Can't show up on your Maybe a note. See? Maybe you could do it. You don't have to implicate yourself. You don't have to tell your part in it all. You know, in a way, it's a real fucked up ordeal for him because he's got a split personality. And it's not him that does the killing, it's the personality. That is a raw deal. His, his dad looked like a zombie. You killed him. <laughs> Seriously. I killed him. It's like shit, keep it in. I got mad, I lost it. I almost killed him, I wanted to. Okay, I have to get it. You got it now, Dylan. 
Go take care of your new girl. I'll go stay on uh, that logging road that runs up along the ridge. I'll be there if you need me. Okay, nobody's gonna find me up there. It's gonna be a lot of foot chicks up and about, but whenever he shows up, you just, you know, tell him I've been gone for a while, you don't know where I am. Yeah, but you are gonna be there, right? I mean, you're not just gonna take off. No, of course I am. She throwing the dog out. Oh, it's fur. What the hell do you think you're doing? We are getting rid of all of this. Oh no, we're not. This is my work. Okay, it's important. Norman, if you do not fight me on this, it all has to go. Why? Why are you doing this? Because Norman, someone might reopen the case about Sam's death, and if we get investigated, then. Having a hobby that involves cutting up dead things is gonna look pretty weird. Oh, because it would make me look bad, sick, crazy? I see. Frankly, yes. Okay, so then all of these things that I made, that I love, that are beautiful, we're just gonna trash all these because you're afraid of how I look? No, you, you don't get it. Well, it seems like you get it. Oh, Norman, I do But you know who really doesn't look so good in all of this? Mother. Mother. Uh, take this the wrong way. Okay, I will always love you. You are the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning, and you are the last thing that I think about at night. Jesus Christ, son. And I have always taken your word for it. You tell me that I do these things I can't remember. But I'm not the one rummaging around in the basement. I'm not the one sleeping with their therapist. <laughs> you can see how these things might get confusing, Mother. It makes me wonder. Makes you wonder what? How do I know it wasn't you who killed my father? That's weird. That's creepy. Don't touch your mom like that. You just, you're, you are mad at me right now, and you are trying to hurt me. And I don't, I don't care. I can't, I can't care. Okay, I can't. So just stay in your room. I don't want you leaving this house until I know that we are safe, whether you like me or not. Of course, mother. <laughs> yeah, good angle on that. <laughs> it was scary as hell. See? It happened. You should have got him help a long fucking time ago. See that? Now he gonna, he gonna unbomb and stuff your ass and put you in a fucking chair. Start killing people in black and white. See? Shit. Alright. Got through them commercials pretty fast. Play! Miss America. She replaced my dad already. Let's come back another time. I wonder what 
time limit is comfortable for children when you remarry, you know what I mean? I know a dude that got married, got remarried like maybe less than a year after his wife died. And the family was like, what the fuck? Something to do with her dad's death. Damn. Most parents, at least, at least from the movies, they keep it. Yeah. Damn. She really moved on and fast. Her mom was in cahoots with something. So much for going on. Put that in sleeves. I thought your arm was in a sling, bro. Oh, Sheriff Romero. Special Agent Liz Babbitt. I'm gonna help you finish, Sheriff. I've been appointed the lead investigator on this case. We're analyzing the data on the flash drive. Yeah, and? One of the names on the accounting ledger was your deceased mother. Uh-oh. You've been extremely cooperative, and I appreciate that. Everyone's in the conference room. We have a lot to do in the next 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, why don't you walk that way? They did that on purpose. I know they did. I don't think my mother trusts me. Why don't you wait until you tell Bond deity? He looked possessive, man. A little clip right there. Hate this remote. I'm gonna be talking to somebody in Verizon soon. Yeah. Alright. Okay. 
We got your money for you. taking care of my Emma. She get all warm down yonder. She found the money came from him. Thank you. Please don't be dead. <laughs> Come on. I just want to go up and say hi. You were sleeping. They're going to end up kissing right now. I'm sorry. This is like the perfect setting for this shit. Sit down right next to her. Norman gonna kill his ass. See that shit? Of course you did. He's your father. I've known since last summer. Norman told me. Don't be mad. He, he was worried for you. I'm sorry that you know that. See, if he, he was gonna kiss you, she might have fucked that up. It, uh, it, it took me a long time to get my head wrapped around it. I can't imagine what someone like you must think. <laughs> we got into the world the way we got into the world. It's not our choice, but at least we're here. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> he won't do something to her right now. <laughs> She know it too. They go, it, they go, look, 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 she all flushed. Ooh, <clears throat> do you see that? It's gonna happen, if it, it's gonna happen within the next two episodes. Norman found him a new girl anyway. The Transformer 4 girl, and your movie sucked. Yeah. I said. I better go back. To my mother. <laughs> my mother. Why doesn't she ever want you to leave the house? She thinks there's something wrong with me. There is something wrong with you. Oh, is there something wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Killed girl. 
you fucked a crazy man. Putting that way, a lot of you girls fuck the crazy man. <laughs> Oh, what? Play it! Play it! Play. Play? Thank you. See, come on, y'all. Stop playing with me, man. Uh huh. Thanks, Storage Wars. That's great. There we go. Oh, is she in the, uh, Psychiatrist house. No, we're gonna get a bullet in the ass. Herman Romero gonna do it on the desk. Make everything right. <laughs> Freeze. Yeah. Gotta do it. What I tell you? <laughs> As I'm saying, I will protect you. That type of passionate arguing make you want to do stuff sometimes. I had a couple arguments like that. Woman screaming in my face. I was sitting there like, look, all you doing is turn me on. Like, that was the look in my face. I wasn't saying that, but I was like, all you doing is turn me on. All right. <laughs> what was funny was, was this time I was flipping out <laughs> for a girl, and I grabbed her, and uh, she told me, <laughs> like, two days the next day later, she was like, don't. Don't go with this or whatever house you, you know, friends. You go fill the hole yourself, Norma. And she was like, um, that should kind of turn me on when you grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I put my hand over her mouth. That's what I did. Put 
my hand on her mouth and told her to shut the fuck up and let me talk. <laughs> She's like, actually turned me on when you did that. <laughs> oh, like, ha, ha, ha. Tell you, the passion is like, that's why they say the thin line between love and hate. It's like passion and hate, like they're like right there. Dude, look at your zombie. No, actually, he looked like he just took off the Batman mask. Before I go, I need, I need to tell you something. Uh -oh. Okay, something about Norman. Norman? She, she already you don't know. even know him. You know, I was here last time. You know, when, when you won't talk to me. I was staying at a motel near here. And he found me. He came to my room. You know, I started talking about how angry he was. About how I raped him. And then I started to realize. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. He thought he was you. There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. Look, you can see the world however you want, Norma. Okay, I know you don't like looking at the truth. He hasn't already. She's like, I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes. It's the soul in denial. But she tries to fake denial, at least. Or fake a lie. She has a lie so much. <clears throat> I can't wait to see how this series ends. I'm sure it's going to end with him becoming, you know, who we, you know. Or maybe it won't, you know. But I'm curious. Because I assume she dies when she's older. You know, that's when he truly takes over. You see, when she's gone, he took on her personality. So, when she dies, he's going to take on the personality. That'll be really interesting to see exactly how... Okay, CarMax! Thank you! Actually, I was looking for a car on their website the other day. Nice one, too. seems upset, so. What's that? Just something that helps me sleep. Walking around in her panties and nighty shirt. So what's wrong with you? I told her, like, look, you better make some clothes on. Logical disorder. Called me with a bed that close. I just black out sometimes, you know, and I can't drive or anything. Yeah. Norman, remember when you came to my door that night? When you tried to tell me you loved me? And I told you I didn't feel that way. 
was an idiot. But I can't tell you how much I appreciate that now. Not that I think you still love me. That you ever did. See? Nice guys, when they get a hot chick, and you gotta be for them, be with them, you know, through thick and thin. And then, mm -mm -mm. and then, they, you know, they get, you know, vulnerable and shit. That's how it, that's how it happens. Now, this ain't the norm. This is Hollywood, y'all. It don't happen all the time, but sometimes it happens. <laughs> I know some guys that got some being the nice guy. I never got some being the nice guy. I got some. I, I got some being the, the asshole. <laughs> being the dick. Oh! Don't fuck it up now. I hope you don't. This is like the first like. Oh no, it's like the first interaction. God, that's such a weird obsession he has with her. Jesus Christ. Thinking of trying to get some other. Ah. Uh. Oh, see what I said? I said, I hope he does not kill her. He said, pull over, mother would like to talk to you. See, girls, fuck was it? See, and sit, see that, let that be a lesson to you too, fine women, okay? You get vulnerable with your nice friend, and then you find out he's a psycho. He's stalking you, he might try to kill you. Mother wants to talk to you. You see that shit? Be mindful of that. Befriending weird motherfuckers just because you need the shoulder to cry on. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, y'all. I hope you have enjoyed my reaction to this. Uh, post your comments down below. Let me know if you would like more. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like, you're fucking psycho.
hit the like button, subscribe, and share. One million subscribers. Woo!